Hi, RJ Baxter here, Fairway Independent Mortgage. I want to talk about what to expect at your loan, loan closing and specifically the numbers side of things. So the thing I want to focus on today is property taxes and what, what those numbers mean on there and why we're collecting as much as we are. So there's two, there's two aspects of the property taxes that we collect. And before I get into that, I wanted to explain that taxes are paid in arrears. So what that means is that when we go to pay taxes in 2023, that covers 2022 taxes. Now this is in most states. This is how it is in Colorado. Now, not all states are this way, but Colorado at least, taxes are in arrears. So what we do at closing is we first of all, collect the taxes from January 1st through your closing date. So let's say you're closing on your home June 30th. That means we have to collect as your lender those six months of taxes so that we have that in your escrow account. That's where we keep your taxes and insurance money. Uh, so it's safe and doesn't go anywhere else. It's a separate account. So we can pay that bill when it's due next year. However, you didn't own the house for those first six months of the year. So for that reason, the seller gives you a credit for those six months at closing. So it directly offsets each other. That's because the seller actually owned the house for those first six months. Now, in addition to that, we as the lender, we have to collect three months typically of reserve, what we call reserves. And this is three months of how much the taxes are right now that we put into a reserve account in your escrow account uh, so that when we go to pay the taxes next year, in case the taxes go up, we have enough in that account because we're going to pay or we're going to collect one twelfth of your yearly tax bill as part of your mortgage payment based on what it is now. So if it's higher next year, if we don't have that reserve, we would be short and would not have enough to pay your taxes. So that's what you can look for for the property taxes on your closing statement, uh, your closing disclosure. I'm going to talk a little bit about the homeowner's insurance side of things on tomorrow's video. So call me if you have any questions on that, on the numbers, how your payment breaks down, or anything else loan related. And I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.